law and confiscate guns and whatnot. Now, the second point that I did want to make, another thing that I kind of see that the globalists did, and actually uh, Jesse Ventura did a conspiracy show on this on the Harp Weather uh, radio transmitter, and basically with Pakistan. Now, you had that general on a couple weeks ago, and he explained how, you know, the intel that, you know, many people are reporting was in the WikiLeaks uh, exposure, you know, was basically exposing the fact that our government has been working inside Pakistan to, you know, destabilize the country. And you burn well, Russia, you flood Pakistan, they can do it with the jet streams over the pole. The 1997 Army briefing with the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, uh, April 28th, uh, 1997. He said, we have weather weapons and tectonic weapons. They have HARP facilities everywhere. I have the director of HARP on. He admitted they can even ignite the atmosphere. And yes, they can also use weather weapons to terrify people to accept carbon taxes. Go ahead. Correct. Well, I do feel that, you know, it is kind of too much of a coincidence that right after the WikiLeaks exposure, exposure you do have the massive flooding in Pakistan. And why would they right do that? Now. Why would they do that? Well, to bankrupt them further to be under the control of the IMF and World Bank. Exactly. And not only that, but it furthers, de it furthers help in destabilizing the country, which makes it easier for them to try to overtake and take control well, of, because obviously they know... And by the way, that an they don't need HARP to cause flooding. With I've had the father of weather weapons on, declassified, Ben Livingston. With eight modern aircraft, he can make... You know, during the hurricane season, a mega hurricane or kill it or weaken it with aircraft. They can go in during the monsoon and hit them and hit them hard. They can do it outside their airspace, but we have aircraft all over their airspace. So they don't need to use their high tech weapons. They've got low tech cloud seeding. Well, that may be true. Well, I in either way, I do feel, you know, these floods are being man manipulated. I don't believe it's just the natural course of reality. Um in my experience with these New World Order people, because I have had direct experience with it, and I do know exactly what they're trying to do, I realize there's no such thing as coincidences, and I definitely think because their covert operations were exposed, well, now they got to hit them with an environmental operation. I hear you. i got to jump, though. A little, I need to get to other callers' good points. I understand their full-spectrum dominance so well from years of deep research that I'll, I can lay there in bed at about midnight, think of something horrible, because I know their mind, like Hamid Ghul said, I read their mind, because I, I literally, that's what a good general does, is you put yourself in their place, you think like them. I can think of something horrible, go in and search it and find mainstream news, and it's almost always brand new, it's almost like because it's gone into the ether, because it's now being done, it's like... Four or five guys invented radio the same week and rolled it out in different parts of the world. Europe, the United States, other areas, because it's just that level of understanding. And it's the same thing. The most horrible things you can imagine, they're doing it. If you can think of it, they're doing it. And if they've got a weapon system, they're going to use it. These people are brazen. They're bold. They're aggressive. They're hyper-dominant. The most hyper-dominant thing you can do is kill your enemies. Wipe them out. Exterminate. Let's go to Nathan in Oklahoma. Thanks for holding. Thanks, Alex, for uh, taking me. Um, I have a couple. I'll get right to the point. Um, I have a couple things. Uh, first thing, I'll tell you about the history of my town. I live in Catoosa, Oklahoma. And uh, within the past couple of months, uh, we have had a couple of police officers get caught for pushing drugs through the town and also... Uh, the county clerk or city hall clerk that, you know, deals with the tickets. And, and is that she, the feds uh, that caught them? Because when they do that, they'll send good feds in to bust them and then bring bad feds in later to consolidate and make sure all the money goes to them. Right. And um, so that had happened. And uh, so in the Catoosa paper on Wednesday, August 11th, 2010, uh, we have a new police chief that is going to be in office on the 28th. And uh, our mayor, uh, of course, appoints the chief. And in the paper, our mayor also uh, tells the paper pretty much what they're going to say. And uh, so in the paper, 
uh, Mayor Rita Lampkin, she said uh, about this new police chief, he is very qualified. Um, and then in the paper it says, uh, our knee jerk comes to the position from the Cherokee Nation Enterprises where he has worked 10 years with security, internal investigation, and audits. Uh, and the mayor here has the training and ability to spot illegal activity because he's been watching out for it on a day-to-day basis at the casino. And uh, previously, she had not wanted nothing to, to do with the casino. Yeah, so now you're going to have casino security heads as your police chief, the casino gulag economy. Is that what you're saying? Yes, well, the key Stay word there and is- finish. Stay there. We'll be right back with Nathan, Tony, Michael, Joe, and others. We'll be back. Is your debt problem a ticking time bomb? Thanks to a new financial consumer relief program designed in response to the economic crisis facing millions of Americans, you don't have to wait until it's too late to defuse your debt. If you owe $10,000 or more in credit card bills and are struggling to make minimum payments, get ready to take down this number for free information that could potentially save your home, the lifestyle you're accustomed to, and your family's financial well-being. But don't wait. Studies show that if most debt problems are confronted directly, beneficial settlements, manageable monthly payments and quick restoration of credit are more easily attained, potentially saving you thousands of dollars in interest charges, fees, and unpaid debt. Don't procrastinate. Call now for your free information and begin putting your economic house in order today. To qualify for this program, you must have $10,000 in credit card debt. Call the American Debt Associates at 800-876-2966. 800-876-2966. Again, 800-876-2966. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. The Fall of America and the Western World is an all-new 10-hour documentary in In this film, you will see the reasons why our government is failing and what you can do to prepare. Featuring Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Joseph Farah, David Icke, Naomi Wolf, G. Edward Griffin, Doug McIntyre, Mark Crispin Miller, Mickey Z, Doug Casey, David McElhaney, and myself, Alex Jones. Protect yourself and get the tools you need to protect your family these difficult times, The Fall of America and the Western World at www.thefallofamerica.net or click on the banners at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Again, that website's www.thefallofamerica.net or call 800-655-1577. Prepare yourself and the ones you love today. Fallofamerica.net. Attention to all U.S. drivers who own a vehicle that has less than 130,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or no warranty coverage at all. Due to our country's economic crisis and auto repair costs on the rise, if your vehicle has less than 130,000 miles, as of today, you could be one of the millions of drivers that now may qualify to have your vehicle covered under United Repair Plans and have 100% of your future covered auto repair bills paid for you. This low-cost vehicle service contract contract has been established under United Repair Plans and is now available to the general public in order to save drivers thousands of dollars on auto repairs during our country's recession. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, you may now call to see if your vehicle qualifies and for a free five-minute quote. Number to call is 800-809-4491. 800-809-4491. Again, that's 800-809-4491. If you look at England, 
They have many, many more private corporate police that wear police uniforms but don't have the same powers that go around intimidating people, putting you in databases, asking where you're going. It's all about training you. And more and more, they're hiring private security people to be police chiefs. I've seen this trend. And so basically, they're going to run society, like Max Kaiser has said, like a casino. So you're saying in your town, you're going to have now basically a security pit boss as your police chief keeping you in line and making sure that the, the house, the government, the parasite system gets all that juicy blood. Right. Well, uh, like I was reading in the paper, though, it said the key word would be where he works 10 years with security. Now, anyone in the casino can work with security. What he actually did in the casino was work. You had to go through security to get to the lost and found, which is what he where he was working, apparently. And so now uh, in the, he tells the paper, though, this new chief, he says, I have training in homicide and major crimes investigations, terrorism and street gangs through the Council on law enforcement, education, and training, and also received extensive training through the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Yeah, uh, no, the feds are putting anybody in that's a FEMA minion, and most of these new police chiefs are sent by this federal council where they promise more federal funds if they appoint who they want. Almost every police chief is either not from the area, federally funded, or even better, they're foreigners. They're not even born here. And, 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 and so they're putting their personnel in place. A few months ago, I had that British member of parliament on. And he said that most of the CPS heads and CPS agents are now former Eastern Bloc. They grew up having government take kids. They don't even hardly speak English. They just want the money. And they get bonuses for more kids. So they just come take your kids. It's foreigners. I mean, our military's biggest recruiting center is now in Mexico City. And it's like, here's machine guns. You want to push evil Americans around? Have your way with them. And so the whole thing is being converted over to this. Uh, what's the headline on that article? I'd like to see it. Uh, the headline on that article is uh, our Nietzsche, I think is how you pronounce his name, uh, name police chief. Our Nietzsche, called. name police chief. All right, thank you. We'll look that up. What's the name of the paper? Uh, Katusa Times. Katusa uh, Times. Yeah, Wednesday, August 11th, volume 8, number 18. All right, Nathan, thank you. Interesting info. Hey, you don't like a casino pit boss running your life? Shut up! We've got a radiation scanner for you. It's good for you. DU's good for you. Mercury's good. Shut up and die. Shut up and lick boots. You're dominated. We're pimp slapping you. Let's talk to Tony in Illinois. You're on the air. Hey, what's going on, Alex? Hey, I got two comments for you, Alex. I live downtown Chicago, and um, when Barry Satoro came to Chicago... For his birthday or whatever, I had seen a Chicago cop on State Street. I was walking down State Street, and I had my Barry Satoro shirt on. And he stopped me. He said, he shook my hand and said, keep up the good work. We know what you guys are doing. We're behind you. And another thing is, I was watching WGN News on July 14th, and they had put something on TV in the health section about drinking fluoridated water with tea and brushing your teeth. It's good for your teeth. And that just, like, I really couldn't take it with that. When I seen that, I went to City Hall. Some of my friends tried to go there, you know, and try to, try to talk to them, but they weren't trying to hear it. So they gave me an alderman's phone number, all the alderman's phone number for Chicago. The Chicago cop gave it to me. And I've been printing all this, up, all this stuff out. We're out handing them out, downtown Chicago, to everybody. The floor deception. I got the alderman's numbers. We got flyers about how poisonous this is, how Britta doesn't help you. Well, I, I want to come water. in, listeners. We've gotten reports all over the country, newscasts, news articles, about the flyers we made that people took and posted, or they made their own flyers, and it's causing a huge debate. And just keep doing it forever. Never stop and know that you are literally going to rip their arm out of their socket like Beowulf to Grendel. You are just going to will it and just go, I've got you by the arm. Yeah! Well, you know, just, just know that it's that continual bearing down on them. That's invincible. That's why they never stop bearing down. They know the power of that. Well, we outnumber them a thousand to one, and you just keep like a woodpecker, just attacking, 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 attacking. And they can feel our unstoppable force, our unstoppable strength. You know, they're bearing down on us. We're starting to resist, and they're getting scared. They're going, whoa. And now they're trying to get out the door, and we got to grab them by the arm and go, you're not going anywhere.